today. Hey. Sally, I thought you were going to do the uh, laundry. And I will. When I run out of clothes. <laughs> when you run out of clothes, what are the chances of that? That's like China running out of Chinese people. <laughs> now, I'm so tired of having to do everything around here, Sal. Well, why can't Chris do it? You really want him to wash your clothes? <laughs> Fine, I'll do the laundry, but you know, you're not the only person who does stuff around here. Ever since Mom and Dad left, I've had to do all the mothering. Speaking of, uh, where's Brooke? How if I know? <laughs> there she is. Hey, sweetie, how was school? I'm stupid. My stupid English teacher wants to have a stupid parent-teacher conference, and here's her stupid note. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. Why are you blaming me? Because it says right here that you're not applying yourself. See, I told you I didn't do anything. <laughs> Listen, it's not me, it's her. Trust me, the woman is evil. Evil? Really? So she must have sold her soul to the devil then for the glamorous life of being a high school English teacher. <laughs> no, you just, you just don't understand. I mean, you never had a teacher hate you. They all loved you because you hit that grand slam to beat North. They didn't love me because I hit that grand slam. They loved me because I always did my work on time and I was never tardy. Oh, my kid, and I hit the hell out of that ball. <laughs> You know, Kurt, Brooke is right. Sometimes teachers can just have it in for you. I mean, I mispronounced my art teacher's name just once, and she never forgave me. It's her own fault for marrying Mr. Leesbo. I'm sorry, Brooke, but if Miss Corelli says there's a problem, then there must be some sort of problem. No, no, you guys, Sally's right. I had an evil teacher once. Yeah, she made stuff up about me at the parent-teacher conference. Told Mom and Dad I had the attention span of a... Whoa! Chick fight! <laughs> Great. Parent-teacher conference. There's one more thing I'm gonna have to handle. Oh, no, you don't. I was actually thinking of asking Chris to go. What? Why? Cuz I'm her favorite. <laughs> don't listen to him. I'm really her favorite. <laughs> Nobody is my favorite. Well, I, 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 are you sure do you want Chris to go? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. You know, Chris, he has a way with people. He can be very charming. <laughs> and I'm not charming? Oh, no, you are. But, you know, sometimes you can sort of fly off the handle and... What? When? <laughs> Look, uh, think about this, Brooke. Do, do you really want to put your future in hands that are permanently stained orange from Cheetos? Hey, man, I can do this. Yeah, and you're always complaining about how you have to do everything. But he's gonna screw this up, Brooke. No, I'm not. It'll be fine. Trust me. It'll probably go something like this. Hey, Brooke's teacher, what's the problem? <laughs> Brooke's not applying herself. Hey! Don't talk about my sister like that! Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, he'd be my choice, too. in here and say that you did the laundry. Yes, and I labeled everyone's clothes. <laughs> I see you found yours. Hey, thought you were going to the conference. I am. And that's what you're wearing? Well, I was looking for a dork t-shirt. You know where I could find one? <laughs> fine, fine. It's just, you know, if I was going to go, I'd probably wear something a little bit nicer. So. What's wrong with what I'm wearing? You slept in that. OK, not last night. And besides, the way I look is not what's important here, okay? What's important is I got picked and you didn't. I got picked and you didn't. I got picked and you didn't. Just don't screw this up, okay? Okay, I'm going to talk to a ninth grade teacher. How am I going to screw that up? Dude, you lost a car. <laughs> I thought he was a valet. Girls, girls, you're both pretty. Don't fight. Well, that's my cue. I'll see you guys later. Where are you off to? Nowhere. A parent-teacher conference? Chris! She wore me down! <laughs> you. No offense, but out of the three of you, you'd have been my fourth choice. <laughs> That's a good one, Mrs. Norris. <laughs> Thank you, handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's wearing to your conference. Chris, are those the jeans I got you for your birthday? Yeah. Oh, that is so thoughtful. I love you so much. No, 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 no. You're not driving the Eldorado. I don't trust you to drive Dad's car. Well, you're trusting me to go to the conference. No, she's trusting me to go to the conference. Are you sure you don't want me to go to the conference? 
Chris was an English major. I mean, what if she wants to discuss my paper on Uncle Tom's cabin? Uncle Tom had a cabin? <laughs> Mom and Dad never took us anywhere. You're moving up on the list. Sorry, I'm late. Hi, I'm Amy Corelli. Hi, I'm, uh... Uh... Brooke Franklin's brother? Yes. Yes, I'm sorry. It's just I was expecting to see an English teacher, and you don't exactly look like an English teacher. Except for that one from that Van Halen video. Well, um, just caught me. I was about to go grab some dinner. I have a car. So do I. I'm sorry. Last time I was in this classroom, that was really impressive. <laughs> Well, um, since you're here, we should really talk about Brooke. Well, since you're hungry, we could do it over dinner. I have my parents' credit card. Another high school flashback. Oh, no, it's really their card. <laughs> Chris? Yeah? So how'd it go with Corelli? Uh, pretty good. <laughs> really, what'd she say? She said that you're really smart and you're not reaching your potential. Dad, isn't she a hard ass? Kinda. Her class is so boring. I mean, I gotta like fight to stay awake. What? Well, maybe you don't get enough sleep. Go to bed. <laughs> Why are you sitting in the dark? Whoa, whoa. Oh, Miss Crowley! Ah! Brooke. Hi. Hi! Wow! Well, you look so different without your, um, your, uh, your clothes. I'm sorry. Uh, I better go. It's a school night and all. Uh, make sure you read that assignment. There may be uh, a pop quiz. What's uh, going on here? This is Amy. Miss Corelli. Your teacher? Nice to meet you. Apparently, the conference went on a little long. So, how's Brooke doing in school? Well, she's really bright, and I think it was just a little Excuse bit... Excuse me! Can people put on some clothes? Well, I really should be going. Uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, I'll... What? She said, call her. <laughs> what the hell were you thinking, man? Well, you guys were asleep. Chris, how could you do this? Sorry. But did you see her? <laughs> Chris, don't be so insensitive. How could you hook up with Brooke's teacher? Well, I didn't plan on it. That's why they call it getting lucky. <laughs> oh, jeez, Chris, barn door. I saw the lights on. Everything okay? It's fine, Mrs. Norris. We were just... Um, having a little midnight, you know, snack. At two o'clock in the morning? You kids should be in bed. You have school tomorrow. You need your beauty sleep, and you... Why are you wearing so much on such a hot night? <laughs> okay, since no one's bleeding, I guess I'll head home. We're sorry we woke you. Nah, I was up anyway. That game show network is like crack. <laughs> Give me some more. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. You guys, Mrs. Norris is right. We should all be in bed. Good night. Hey, Chris, get back down here, dude. We got a little unfinished business to attend to. Brooke, are you okay? How am I supposed to face her in school tomorrow? Put it out of your mind. Tomorrow's gonna be just like any other day. Okay, settle down, class. <laughs> now, I've read your essays, and I must say, I'm disappointed. No, Hillary, you cannot go to the bathroom. And Brian, wake up.
What's wrong? I keep seeing her naked. I, I do that sometimes, too. <laughs> hungry because I prepared a gourmet meal. It was inedible, so I threw it out and made hot dogs. <laughs> you slept with Brooks' teacher. You really think you're going to get off the hook by boiling a few hot dogs? You know what, man? This could work out great for Brooke, okay? In fact, I have a sneaking suspicion she's going to thank me. I hate you. Wow. Dude, it's like you're a psychic. <laughs> You know, I thought my life couldn't get any crappier than last night, but apparently that was just the tip of the crap -berg. What happened? Everyone found out that Chris hooked up with Corelli. Now everyone thinks we're gonna be best friends, and everyone's calling me a sucker. Guys threw pieces of paper at her. And they did not have phone numbers on them. <laughs> it's horrible. At lunch, the only people who'd sit with me were the chess team, debate squad, and AV club. So hey, you made a bunch of new friends. It's one guy. If I'd asked you to go, none of this would have ever happened. If you had asked me to go, did you just hear her say that if she had asked me to go? I don't know, it might just be my ears. But... <sighs> and then everybody wouldn't hate me, and I wouldn't have had to have lunch with Marvin. <sighs> oh, awful. Oh, no, 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 that was the highlight of the day. Now every time I look at Corelli, I see her naked. You happy? You scarred her for the rest of her life. You know, it's very traumatic for someone to see someone they shouldn't naked, naked. Especially when you have to see that person every day. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah? August 5th, 1993. I was playing ball in the backyard. Ball went over the fence. I hopped over to get it, and there in front of me, Mrs. Norris. <laughs> Sunbathing. Nude. Oh, dear God. I can still smell the copper tone, man. What? Are you telling me this is never going to go away? Oh, thanks a lot, Chris. Have I mentioned that I hate you? Man, if there was anything I could do to make this up to her, I would. There is. You can call it off with her teacher. Okay, there's always that, but on the other hand, <laughs> I can think of a very good reason I should keep seeing her. This ought to be good. No, really. Look, if the teacher loves me, then she's gonna love Brooke, right? I mean, who's gonna get a better college recommendation? Some random student or the sister of Captain Fantastic? Oh, please, even I'm not buying that. But I don't wanna stop seeing Amy. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to. Look, we all have to make sacrifices here, Chris. You know, growing up, I always wanted to have a dog, but no, I couldn't because you were allergic. So instead, I got fish. There's a real fun pet for you. You stare at it for three weeks and then flush. <laughs> Yeah, but that was a dog, and this is a hot woman. And petting is so much more fun this way. All right, all right. You want some help here? Yes, please. OK. If you don't break it off with the teacher, I'm going to take you out to the backyard and beat the crap out of you, all right? <laughs> then I'm going to bring you inside. I'm going to let you all heal up, and I'll take you back out in the yard and beat the crap out of you some more. That helps. OK. Guys, trust me, I'm gonna find a solution, okay? And I'm not gonna screw this up. Hi, hi, hi. God, it's back. Just returning a little Tupperware. Morning, Sal. Is uh, Chris up yet? Nope. What happened with him and the teacher last night? I don't know. He must have got home after I went to bed. So what happened with Chris and Corelli last night? Huh. We don't know yet. Well, I tried to wait up for him. I got all warm and snuggly in bed, and then I closed my eyes to listen for the front door, and then it was morning. I don't know what happened. <laughs> all right, look. Um, I need to know if I'm going to school today or if I need to fake a girl thing. Brooke, I told you, that's only for fitness tests and finals. Hey, Chris! Get out of bed and get your butt down here! You know what he's doing? He's waiting until I leave for work so he doesn't have to face me. Well, he may have handled it. You don't know. Oh, I know, Sal. Chris screws up everything. Well, maybe he screws up everything because you never trust him to do anything. I mean, you're always like, Chris, take this to the bank. No, wait, I'll do it. Or, Chris, go to the dry cleaners. No, wait, I'll do it. I mean, he didn't even learn how to tie his shoe until he was seven years old because Kurt was always doing it for him. I didn't want him to trip. 
Yes. <laughs> That's so sweet. You love him. Why don't you ever tell him you love him? Ew, what are you, crazy? <laughs> hey, Chris, get your lazy ass down here, dude. Good morning. Please tell me you got up early to jog. In your clothes from yesterday. You were supposed to break up with her, not spend another night with her. Huh. You didn't do it, did you? Define do it. Go out the yard, Chris. No, no, look, look, look. I planned on breaking up with her, okay? But then I had a better idea. Come on, let's go. No, really, really? <laughs> really? I figured out the root of Brooke's problem. That you're sleeping with my teacher? No, that you're bored in her class, okay? You're not doing as well as you could because you're not challenged by it. Hey, it's like you. When you played t-ball, do you remember how you wanted to quit and then they let you play with the big kids and then you led the whole league in homers? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I was a lot better than everybody else. <laughs> and I think it's the same with broken English. She's just too smart for the class. Hey, maybe that's why I was so bad at math. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sally, that's it. <laughs> and Brooke... Why didn't you ever tell us you could write like this? Oh, my God. What is it? Poems that I wrote. I thought I threw these away. Where'd you find them? In Kurt's room. You saved these? Yeah. Yeah, I thought they were kind of cool. <laughs> you know, I especially love that one about the, um, the big, strong guy who actually had all the sensitive stuff on the inside. I mean, where do you come up with stuff like that? <laughs> you really liked them? Yeah. And I showed them to Amy, and she liked them, too. You showed them to her? But that is the most humiliating thing you've done to me since... you slept with my English teacher! Okay, she's not your teacher anymore. Because she's moving you up to honors English. Honors? English? Really? <laughs> well, why didn't you just... How am I gonna... What am I gonna... Brooke, Brooke. Full sentences. You're an honors student now. Yes! <laughs> oh, a brainy class. Why must you make my job harder? Thank you so much. Five minutes ago, I wanted to do horrible, evil things to you, and now I totally owe you. You were awesome. Oh, don't use your toothbrush. Why? Just don't. And Kurt, mm -hmm. thank you so much for saving yeah, my phone. Yeah, well, okay. Ah. You're welcome. <laughs> I know you want to hug me. <laughs> nope. Oh, come on. Aren't we proud of me? Yeah, I'm proud of you, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm not drunk. <laughs> what? Do something. Like what? and give him a hug. Look, I'm not giving him a hug. There's no way I'm giving him a hug. I don't want him to drive the car. I don't want him to drive the car. I'm not giving him a hug. Dude. I need you to do me a little favor, all right? What? Go get the, uh... I'll do a wash for me, will you? Really? Yeah. <laughs> all right, on. Yeah, just no armor on the white walls, all right? No air freshener and absolutely no wax. You know what? I should probably just go with you. Kurt? Or, uh, you know, you could just go alone without me. That's, that's cool. <clears throat> <laughs> Thanks. Sure. It's killing you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be strong. I gotta go get ready. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, thanks for that. <laughs> yep. 
You're pathetic. What? You want to drive, Nancy? <sighs> Thanks, bro. Honors English is so much fun. I mean, Mr. Cashel's observations are just so trenchant. That means incisive. That means good. I know. Now. <laughs> You see how everything worked out, though, Brooke? And you made such a big deal about me hooking up with your teacher. <laughs> Sally! It's my boss! How could you? What? He's cute. Oh, man, how am I supposed to go to work tomorrow? <laughs> you ruined my life! <laughs> Wow, you guys, that was perfect. You were so great. I know, we got him good. <laughs> Kid's a chump. All right, well, thank you so much, Sally, and thanks, Mike. No sweat. So, you, uh, want to go out sometime? No. <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> Next on WB17 News at 10. I'm Kimberly Adams in West Philadelphia. You think it was windy today? Boy, you won't believe the damage. A full report coming up. And while today was windy tonight, tomorrow will be windy and cold. I'll have the forecast. Whether her house is cleaner, her child is quieter. She's talking about mom envy and a lot of mothers are feeling it. What it is and how do you feel better? We've got some advice. And a female music star arrested. What's up? And her mugshot. Next.